What's up you guys, Skylar back here again, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to play Sagittarius by Trevor Hall, so let's do it. The first thing you're gonna to need to know about this song is it is in drop D tuning, so that sounds like it's just the top string uh, turned down to a D. So drop D. Okay, and the chord you're gonna to need to know is a D chord, but he plays it like this, so. but without the G string, I'm just hitting that. So just these top three strings. All together. And then it's, um, I believe, I'm not sure what this would be, but it's your first finger on the sixth string of the seventh fret. Then your ring finger on the fifth string of the ninth fret and it's just these two together. So, and he does this double double tap thing, so. And what I am do, I'm just muting it, so I release them a little bit, but not all the way off, so. Like that. It's just a double stop. And then the next one, I believe this would be a G, so. Um, you just take your first finger and you put it on the sixth string of the fifth fret, and then you take your uh, middle finger and you put it right below it, so the fifth string of the fifth fret, and you do those together and it should sound like this. So all together, it just, this is just only thing you really need to remember for this, and that's through the whole verse. All the verses are like that. So the there's not really a strumming pattern that um, he uses, but I use a strumming pattern when I do the song to help me stay on time. And so what I do is So I play the D Then I do the double stop on this chord And play this one a full bar so. should sound like break me out the pattern the rings of Saturn yeah. get me out of my way I surrender mission to gain a no division get me out of my way so once again and if you don't want to strum it you can just pluck the individual chords it's just the same thing so And that's it for all the verses. So now moving on to the chorus. So the chorus is a couple of just four chords and it's this E minor chord. So what you do, you take your first finger, you put it on the sixth string of the second fret, put your middle finger right under it. So the fifth string of the second fret and your, uh, you don't have to add this ring but I do because it sounds better and your ring finger right under that one so the third string of the second fret and it should sound like this playing these four strings so there's that chord first and then it goes to this uh, B minor kind of shape and how he plays it it's you know it's a regular B minor but he lifts up his pinky and he just plays uh, these three strings. He just plays the A, the D, and the B. So. so just a B minor with the pinky off. And playing the A, D, and the B string. And then the next chord is the same chord we just learned up there. It's the D. The D up here. And then this chord that I don't know the name of that's also in the verse that chord and all together the chorus should sound like this if you're strumming it I'm still learning how to walk in my fire live in my fire love in my fire I'm still learning how to walk in my fire live in my fire love in my fire and then, you know, 
know if you're just plucking it, it'll sound the same, same tempo, it's just with your fingers, so it should sound like... that's pretty much the whole song that's the verse in in the chorus and that's pretty much all you need to know so hope that helped you guys if it did leave a like and a comment of another song you want me to do a tutorial of so yeah thank you guys peace <laughs>